But yes, we are worried about EMI pollution. So the house owner uh, in, uh, in your uh, area, a proud house owner, he thinks he has hired his building to Airtel or to Idea and they have erected a tower and the uh, signal is very strong in and uh, around that uh, tower. But the electromagnetic field intensity is very high. So people uh, living nearer to the tower will have uh, more effect of, will have more effect of EMI, electromagnetic uh, interference. So examples for EMI. EMI comes uh, whenever you have shark waveform. A shark waveform has a lot of energy from that waves are released. Example, your fan regulator. Your electronic regulator of the fan has a sudden uh, change in the voltage from that electromagnetic wave circuit. If you have a old TV without EMI filter, whenever you play with the electronic regulator, that uh, TV screen will be shaking. If you are living uh, on the road, if you are living very close to the main road, whenever a two-wheeler or four-wheeler four -wheeler is crossing, your TV screen will be shaking. Because uh, I am assuming a old TV without EMI filter, so there is a spark plug in your bike or in your car. So the sparking current has a lot of harmonics. They release electromagnetic waves. So when the electromagnetic waves links with the uh, with the radio circuit or TV circuit, you have uh, electromagnetic mixi. Mixi has an electronic regulator. Whenever mixi is operated, uh, your TV will be affected. So if you take your cell phone close to a ringing cell phone, you take it close to the TV. These waves will be linking with that, and you can see the interference. So electromagnetic interference is a problem with the development of your uh, computers, TVs. Your computer has SFPS, TV has SFPS that is drawing spiky currents, and these spiky currents will produce uh, EMI. So EMI is a problem, and uh, uh, in developed countries they have a control over EMI, but here we don't have much control over that. EMI. In India, you are not fined if you inject the harmonics into the supply. But in USA, you will be fined if EMI is above a certain level. Health uh, is a very standard textbook without any mistakes. Probably I will recommend Sari to you. Sari is a very good book with good coverage. So, Joseph Administer, Shant series textbook. Any Sham series textbook will make you to think because uh, he will give the first step, he will give the last step. He says 2000 problems in 200, uh, 2000 problems in 200 pages. So, Joseph Administer uh, Sham series gives uh, first step and the last step. He is not giving the steps uh, in between. So, you are made to think. So, that is really good. Uh, or uh, gate. So whatever you have attended, now my now my uh, lecture you want uh, that in the library my book is available, Electromagnetic Fields by Reddy. It is a class notes which is published in the form of a textbook uh, by Skytech publishers. So if you want, if you find fields to be difficult, you read my notes or you read my textbook, I think you can definitely pass because uh, I said you depend more, average students should depend more on derivations and theory. Intelligent students can do the problems easily, but average students can depend on the theory. Definite, de definite derivations are there. Boundary conditions, you will get one of the Maxwell's equations, two, at least two out of the four Maxwell's equations you will be getting. So you can easily get the uh, Maxwell's equations, theory part and all that. In addition, you can solve for uh, problems. Nagadar is easy, Chonk is good, Cheng, uh, no mistakes. In general, any foreign other book, it will be wonderful. Especially for field theory, we strongly recommend foreign other book. Because dot and cross are so important in Indian books, where dot is required, they place a cross. Where cross is required, they place a dot, then the entire concept is gone. So please do read, please do read Sadiq. For easy students, Sadiq will be really good. Uh, if you read an uh, Indian uh, local other book, uh, it will not be easy, it will be tough. 
it will be really tough. Any local author is making uh, cutting and pasting job. He is only adding two marks questions. He is adding uh, um, examination papers. But theory is not easy. So if you really want uh, easier things, you have to refer to some book like uh, Sadiq. Uh, there is one book called Sarvate. Sarvate has given a lot of stories. So if you read Sarvate in library, you find a lot of stories. Related to electromagnetic fields. So it's not difficult. I think to start with, you read uh, some easy textbooks.